Welcome to the Citrix Presentation Server version 4.5 update series. I'm Greg Shields. This series is designed to help you understand what the differences are that have occurred between versions 4.0 in Citrix Presentation Server and version 4.5 in Citrix Presentation Server. This series is going to be a little bit shorter than a, a standard series with CBT Nuggets because really all we're going to do is show you the deltas between those two versions. What's good to know about the differences between version 4 and version 4.5 is that really there's not a lot of change that really is manifested into Citrix itself or into Presentation Server itself. And so what you've already learned in the 4.0 series, the original series, is going to do you very well with helping you understand what you need to to do well with version 4.5. Now, this series is not only going to assist you with understanding what those new features there are, but also will help you understand how that manifests itself into the Citrix test. And we'll talk about both halves of this in this, in this series. Let's first start to, uh, a little bit by talking about really what's new and what's changed in version 4.5. And I can really tell you that really there's there's not a lot that's really changed. The only really major change that you're going to see as part of Presentation Server itself is a movement of a lot of the functionality out of the original CMC, the Citrix Management Console, and moving it into the AMC, or the Access Management Console. Now, what's interesting about the way this works is that Citrix in version 4.5 has not yet fully migrated all of the components out of the CMC. And so you may find that some of the things that you're used to finding in the CMC are located in entirely different places, while other things are still left back in the CMC for you to manage in that location. This uh, this can be a little odd for you. This can be a little annoying, actually, because you still have to have both consoles up and available in order to do a lot of the things. And I'll show you a little bit about what's still in the, the Citrix Presentation Server console and what's in the Access Management console as well, and, and, and also where you can find those different features. Now, most of the features are geared in 4.5 and the 4.5 update towards the management of very large environments. If you have a very large environment, there's a lot of new things that are out there that are going to help you, especially if you have a large environment and you're running the Platinum Edition of, uh, of Citrix Presentation Server. That Platinum Edition includes a lot of add-on things such as Edge Site and uh, the Access Gateway and those sorts of things. A lot of the features that you're going to find in 4.5 are really focused on those very large environments, especially the Platinum Edition. But there are a few that work in the Advanced Edition, in the Enterprise Edition that you're going to need to know. Now the exam updates are very minimal as well. If you're used to the 256 exam and if you've studied for the 256 exam, the difference between the 256 exam and the new 1YO259 exam, which is related to version 4.5, is 259 is really a superset of 256. So a lot of the questions that you're familiar with seeing or, or you can expect to see in the 256 exam are going to be there in some form in 259. But there's going to be a few other new things, new functionality that you're going to need to know. And I'll, I'll help you understand what those are. Now, I think probably the best way to help you understand what's new and changed in 4.5 is to give you a little spreadsheet of what the differences are between the old 4.0 and the 4.5. I've put together a list here of all the new features that are announced to be included in Citrix Presentation Server 4.5. And what I've done for you is I've, I've categorized them by the edition that you will find them in. Now, different environments are going to buy different versions of the licensing for Citrix Presentation Server based on what you believe you need out of the software. And if you move to the, the Enterprise, the Platinum editions of the software, you're you're going to find that there are different functionalities and capabilities, but there's also additional added cost associated with those new software. We've already talked about those in the 4.0 version. But what I want to show you is based on the addition of software that you buy, well, what are you going to get inside of 4.5? Now, the first one up here is a speed screen progressive display. One of the other big uh, features that is new with 4.5 is a change to the ICA protocol that allows, using speed screen, certain types of, we'll call them full motion video capabilities. What progressive display allows you to do is enable certain ways such that that, uh, that that full motion video or that, that 3D CAD CAM models, those sorts of things that you may be doing across, or, or even GIS, for example, across your, uh, your ICA connection, it allows you to compress those so that they uh, appear at the client side with a lot better frame rate. We also have clear, clear type font smoothing support, which for those of you that are using clear type, and if you're using um, flat panel screens, you're, you're probably using clear type, the clear type font smoothing support actually provides a little bit smoother of a font, so it makes things look a little bit better. Uh, whenever you're using applications like Office 2007 or those, uh, when you're running your client against an LCD display. And that, that brings that into the ICA stream as well. If you have multiple languages in your environment, we have a multilingual user interface support for virtualized applications. So if you've gone and virtualized your applications with uh, Citrix Presentation Server with one of the higher end editions, you'll now have multilingual user interface support. We have this ability to do configuration logging now, which is a very big boon for uh, auditing. With the configuration logging capability, you can enable a configuration 
logging database such that all of the configuration changes that are made to your presentation server environment are logged to a database with the information about who did it and when they did it and, and maybe even uh, some information about why they did it in certain circumstances. But it helps you understand who made what changes to your presentation server infrastructure. This can also be an assistance in the troubleshooting uh, component for understanding what changes were made over a period of time. If you're using Active Directory Federation services, Citrix now supports the ability to leverage ADFS with presentation server sessions. And what this is, is ADFS is the ability for you to trust that someone else has already completed an authentication on behalf of you. And if you enable ADFS, this allows someone else to actually go through the authentication capability and allow you to spawn out the session based off of that pre-authenticated session that comes in. This is only going to be the case if you already have an ADFS infrastructure set up in your environment today. If you've uh, used the web interface, uh, we now have the ability to add in a backup URL. So if your primary web interface site goes down, you can automatically identify a backup web server where people can go to to get to their web interface. This is kind of a nice new feature. And we also have a new load evaluator now that allows you to do some load throttling. Now what we mean here with this load evaluator is when we're doing load throttling, what we say is that as a computer is being brought online, let's say you're bringing a new server, a presentation server online. When you bring that new server online, load throttling allows you to throttle back the uh, the instantiation of new sessions as you bring that new server online. So you bring a new server online, um, the, the, the users are logging in and out of your farm. When you have the load throttling capability turned on, what this allows you to do is, while that server is going through its startup processes, you're not actually going to push as many users to that server for a period of time. This is, uh, this is very handy, again, if you have a lot of users that are constantly logging in and out of your environment. If you have a new server that's coming online, until it actually gets into steady state a few minutes down the road after a reboot, you really want to try to keep the users out of that server until it's ready to go. We have uh, added support now for AES encryption. If you're familiar with AES encryption, this is a very high-end level of encryption that uh, really increases the strength of your connections, the strength of the encryption for your connections from server to client. We have the ability to do a trusted server configuration between the client and the server. And this is something that's done within group policy that allows you to identify on the client which servers you're actually uh, going to trust to actually connect to based off of various configurations and various settings on, on that client, and also where that client is on the network. And lastly, and this is kind of cool, is uh, the non-administrator installation for the Citrix client itself. This is the uh, Citrix client version 10. And so if you're using the client version 10, it is installed in such a way that it no longer requires administrator access in order to install that Citrix client. Now this is great because now your users can actually go to a website or go to a location and bring down that Citrix client and install it and actually make use of it without requiring you, the administrator, to go ahead and install that for them. If we scroll down just a little bit, we can talk about some of the Enterprise Edition capabilities that are new with 4.5. As you'll see here, there aren't as many with the Enterprise Edition as there are with the uh, the Standard Edition, but all of the, the Advanced Edition capabilities are wrapped into the Enterprise Edition also. Now what you get when you add Enterprise Edition is you add client-side application virtualization. And this is another big push on the part of Citrix, which started in 4.5 and actually got a lot better with Citrix version 5.0, is the ability to not only provide applications to your users via, term via RDP sessions or IC sessions through Citrix, but now also to virtualize those and send those via streaming technology down to that user's client. And again, this is a, in 4.5, it was sort of an introductory capability that's added in with, with Presentation Server 4.5. And again, when you move to Citrix 5.0, that changes quite a bit and that gets some more full capabilities, full featured capabilities with application virtualization. Um, there is also, if you're using those application virtualization and also other isolated applications, we now have the thing called the Application Hub, which is a big fancy word for saying a file share on a, on a file server somewhere, where all of your isolated applications are located so that the server can actually install them from that application hub, either to themselves or via, via streaming them down to your clients. We uh, update some, uh, some capabilities with isolation itself, uh, increasing the speed, increasing the performance associated with isolated apps. Uh, this is what we call isolation 2.0. Uh, in Citrix version 5, we actually get isolation 3.0, which adds some more features. But these are so, sort of some core new raw performance capabilities capabilities that are added with 2.0. The big one here is uh, the health assistant and the health monitoring and recovery capabilities that come with Enterprise Edition. And this is one that you're really going to need to know for the exam because this is one that is heavily tested on in the, in the exam. The health assistant and the health monitoring and recovery is the ability for your farm to take a look at the different servers in your environment and identify their health characteristics. If that server perhaps is uh, overloaded or if that server is having problems with a particular application, you can, ins you can instruct the farm 
to do various things with that server, either alert you whenever the problem occurs, or even remove that server out of the load balancer whenever that problem occurs so that you can fix it automatically as necessary. Again, be aware of this health monitoring and recovery because it, it's going to be very heavily tested on the exam. For the Platinum Edition, there are a number of new capabilities that are available with the Platinum Edition, and as you'll see, all of these new capabilities come as part of the additional technologies that you get with Platinum Edition. Now, if you remember back before, we were talking about some of those other things that you get with Platinum Edition. You, uh, you get the ability to work with the Access Gateway. You get Edge Site. You get some other stuff that uh, Password Manager, for example, that's included with Platinum Edition. All of these new capabilities leverage these add-on capabilities. And so in order to use them, you're going to have to have these other technologies in your environment. Easy Call is uh, one tool that leverages the Easy Call Gateway for uh, merging your, your phone infrastructure with your the rest of your network infrastructure. Uh, if you're leveraging the WAN scaler, we have some WAM, uh, WAN optimization stuff that can go with WAN scaler. And that's really what WAN scaler is designed to do is uh, those WAN optimization capabilities. Uh, we have always on SSL VPN access that requires the access gateway. And so if you have clients that are connecting into your infrastructure leveraging the access gateway, you can actually set that up so it is an always on VPN access into your internal infrastructure. Uh, we have application performance monitoring that leverages EdSight. This is uh, sort of a, a plus plus capability that adds on to the, the technologies you're seeing here with the health assistant and health monitoring and recovery capabilities. EdSight digs very deeply into not only your farm and your servers, but also the applications in those servers to identify their performance and issues with those. We have uh, Smart Auditor, which is a separate product installation, and Smart Auditor adds some auditing capabilities into your environment. And also Smart Access, which requires the access gateway, which allows you to very specifically and discreetly identify what sorts of accesses your users are going to have to resources in your environment. Uh, we have Single Sign-On that requires Password Manager. If you have Password Manager in your infrastructure, you can actually use Single Sign-On to automatically log into various sessions. And also with Password Manager, we have the Self-Service Password Reset and Automated Account Unlock functionality. If, you, if, uh, if you're aware, the large percentage of calls into your help desk can be related to Password Reset and Account Unlock issues. And if you have Password Manager in your environment, you now have the ability for users to automatically reset their passwords and unlock their accounts if they answer a certain questions correctly. And also, if you have users that are rapidly switching between desktops, perhaps you're in a hospital where you have nurses or doctors that are moving between rooms very quickly, uh, if you have Password Manager, you can use the uh, hot desktop capability to significantly decrease the amount of time involved with logging in and out of, of uh, sessions as users move from location to location. But again, all of these Platinum, Platinum Edition capabilities, you can see, leverage the added stuff that is goes above and beyond Presentation Server itself. If you're looking at this series specifically to understand Presentation Server, all of these Platinum Edition things are going to be sort of add-on things that you may not necessarily need to know for the exam itself. And all of these really relate very little to Presentation Server other than their integrations into Presentation Server. If I scroll back up here and look at Enterprise and uh, the Advanced Edition features, these are the ones that you're going to want to be very comfortable with for your understanding of how to manage Presentation Server itself and also for passing that 1YO259 exam. And speaking of that exam, let's actually take a look at the exam and some of the changes between the uh, 256 exam and the 259 exam. The functionality for the 1YO 259 exam arrives more or less functionally similar to the, the 256 exam. You are going to see a few different kinds types of question types. Those are going to be drag and drop question types or other question types that are referred to as low fidelity simulations. Now, what that means really, these low fidelity simulations, is that it's going to be a simulation of a, of a situation that you may have have in, in managing your presentation server environment. But not all the stuff is going to work. The only thing in those sorts of questions that's going to work are the things that you actually need to configure in order to solve the question or, or answer the question or solve the problem that's presented to you for that exam. Other than those drag and drop and those low fidelity simulations, the rest of the exam is going to be the same sort of function, uh, same sort of type as the 256 exam, which is sort of a multiple choice. Again, many of the questions on 259 are going to be relatively similar, the same sort of focus as what you saw the 256 exam. So if you've studied for the 256 exam based off of the 4.0 stuff that you've seen up to this point, and in the, the original series involved with CPT Nuggets, that information is going to get you very far with the 259 exam. You're going to add in some additional content that you're going to need to know for the 259 exam, and those new questions are going to relate to a lot of those advanced edition features, and also the health monitoring and recovery. I can't stress this enough that you need to be very comfortable with health monitoring and recovery. Although Citrix talks about application virtualization with Citrix uh, 
uh, with uh, Presentation Server 4.5, there's not a lot of detailed questions associated with application virtualization. If you're comfortable with the general concept of what it is and how you can turn it on inside of Presentation Server itself, something I'll show you in the next uh, the next video in this series, the next nugget in this series, then you'll be doing just fine with understanding what you need to know for the 259 exam. And then lastly, really, and this is just... <laughs>